Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. We got a few goodies in today and I wanted to share them with you so that if there's something you're dying to have, you'll know and can make plans to maybe stop by this weekend. Not a lot, but some fun things. First of all, we got in some of the new Tim Holtz um, ideology, his uh, Halloween embellishments. There are new paper dolls for Halloween. I can see there's a witch's hat back there and some other fun things in here. Looks like a little gypsy fortune teller. Also have some creepy eyeballs. These are really fun. You can see all the fun detail in those and they are flat back blacked so they're easy to adhere onto your project and you get lots of them in there. You can see that's a pretty full pack so those are really fun. We also have some of his new mummy cloth so perfect to add a little creepy overtone to your project. And finally, some of his spider adornments. And these actually are good size. They're bigger than I thought they were going to be. The spider, you can see it's got the opening up there that you can hang something by. And this pearl can actually be colored with alcohol ink if you don't want to keep it white. So you can make it match your project. So some fun things for some Halloween projects. Got in some more of the opal polish. We got back in the lavender blue. Um, the opal polishes are like the gilding polishes, but they have some interference mica powders in them. This one you can see has the purple in it. And this is what that looks like when you do it on a white piece of paper. It's primarily blue, but you can see as that light hits it in different places, you can see that lavender coming out. But what's really cool is when you take it and you do it on dark cardstock, this is on a piece of black cardstock, Basically, the base color more or less disappears. You can see a few hints of that blue in there, and primarily the color of that mica powder pops out. So on the black, instead of being primarily blue, it is primarily lavender. Got a new color in. This one I'm excited about. I don't have a sample. I thought I would save these for you guys. It was hard. This one is called Blue Parakeet, and you can see the base color is this beautiful limey green, and then I think you can see that blue interference mica powder in there. So I think that one will be really, really amazing as well. Before I jump in and show you some new papers, let me show you some samples with the Tim Holtz. Here you can see some of his paper dolls and there is some of that mummy cloth there. Just makes a really good embellishment on that project. Um, here is... Um, one that has, you can see some of the creepy eyeballs on some of those tags there. And this little girl has the little spider adornment. She's holding that and you can see that that pearl has been colored with alcohol ink. Um, there is one with the creepy eyeballs in the background. And there's some more eyeballs on this project here. And actually there's one of the spider adornments hiding there, again with the pearl colored. And this one, I love this one. This is the Collector of Curiosities. And you can see all these eyeballs. And in fact, the um, pearl in there has been replaced with an eyeball and eyeballs in everywhere in here. So I think that one is really fun. All right. Last thing to show you is some new paper. And this is Christmas paper. And I really, really like this paper. It is so different. Um, we see a lot of different papers and sometimes they can kind of get to look the same. You know, how many different Christmas papers can there be? But I really like this one. I like the colors. I think it has a very kind of Nordic or Scandinavian feel with the color scheme and a little bit more simplicity to it. And I just think it is really, really fun. And you can see there we have Jolly Old St. Nick. We have this Santa gnome here. There we have the reindeer. Like I say, just um, kind of really clean and bright. The primary colors are the red and the gray and the black and the white. And I really like that a lot. So this is the um, three by four cut apart sheet. And the back side of that is equally cute with the little Santas on here. And this one may be my favorite one. It's the dark gray background. And we have little Santas and gnomes and snowmen on here. Some snowflakes and just the little hose all over the place. And the background is this nice light plaid. Here we have a nice red and black buffalo plaid. 
and on the back of that one is strings of lights but very very different again because of the color scheme and how clean and simple it is um, very different from other things that are out there there is also um, this one here is mistletoe I like that in the really dark tones a nice contrast to some of the lighter ones and on the background is just a very simple white with little black polka dots on it this one is a four by six cut apart sheet that has some nice images on it and these really nice Christmas trees on the back and finally we have this tartan plaid the red and the black and on the back side of it these fun red snowflakes so that is what we got in today. I hope if you've seen anything this week that has caught your interest, that you will stop by this weekend and check it all out. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.